to the Bay Area, San Jose, California. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Just how important is game one here? Well, it's really important, of course, but if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. What's really important is you try to impose your will on the other team, which should be for a long series. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, we got a penalty coming up, as you can see that he was slowed down on the play. Answered the call there. And play finally comes to an end. Here's the officials. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, you're going to get called almost every time. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they fail. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away, not let it affect the current power play. The Sharks are on the attack. Here's the pass. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck clears the zone. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's a shot with the stop. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Steps in and takes the puck. And manages to clear the zone. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Carries it across the line. Look out! Oh, what a hit! And now he moves it quickly to Tavares. The Sharks will play the puck from behind the net. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And he regains control of the puck. San Jose's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You have lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Passes over to Ferraro. Takes the feed, and the puck departs the zone. Passes on over to Ferraro. The Sharks played along the boards. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Moves the puck over to Sorensen. Looking to make something happen along the boards. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Stops him with a glove. Dangerous spot in the slot. The goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Anderson's hands are quick. He uses his stick to make this save on the score. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Nice job tying up his opponent. Toronto's got it into the offensive zone. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. And they'll dump it in. The Leafs have it behind the net. Up along the wing. Pumps the puck away. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Dumps it in. The Leafs have it behind the cage. And he handles the cross-ice pass. Battling for it along the boards. Taken along the wall by Nieto. Along the half wall with the puck. Turns him away! Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. The Sharks have it from their own end. San Jose's got it across the line. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Toronto's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Leafs played along the wing. Here's a chance. Turns it away. Puck picked up by Vlasic. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dumps it in. Picked up along the boards by Marlowe. And he slides it quickly to Vlasic. 
The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. It's a two-on-one. Oh, he got paddled by Dubnik. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. The save's gonna look just as good in replay as it did live. The goalie follows the odd man rush, comes out aggressively to make the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Moves it to Couture. That's off a stick. Anderson's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Here in the back half of this period, still looking for our first goal. Boyd's won it off the faceoff. Scooped up along the wall by Riley. Hawk moved over to Boyd. They've got numbers. A howitzer. Great stop by Dubnik. Donato's carrying it ahead. And he slides it quickly to Meyer. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes off the side of the net. And it's a quick pass to Hurdle. Now a quick pass to Meyer. Oh, what a save! Nice pass. Receives the pass. Takes the pass. Makes a move in front. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Quick feed to Meyer. San Jose's got it along the wall. Shot gives them nothing in front. Takes the feed. Into the offensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Gets the puck over to Sorensen. Pushes it across to Donato. Here's a short pass to Hurdle. And he comes up with it. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Leafs take it along the wall. Moves it to the offensive zone. And now he moves it to Dermott. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Great reflexes. Another save. Handles the puck. Dumps it in, and they'll skate off for a change. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly wow. over to Boyd. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Pass back to the point. And makes the save. Quick pass to Hyman. Slides the puck over. Works it across to Sorensen. The Sharks are in transition. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Snaps it onto the net. Big save. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. I seem like a broken record to the truck here. Yeah, I want to see that again. There's another stop for him. Here in the late goings of the period, still scoreless in this one. Kerfoot's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. He scores! Defensive zone turnover leaves the shooter in a good spot. The goalie can't catch up to it. It beats him low. The Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead here late in the opening frame. You can feel this starting to come on. The pace of the game started to increase, and they get the games first. The Leafs take it along the wall. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Moves it to Couture. By number 39. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Muzzin. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. 
Let's it go! Comes up with the stop. San Jose's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Clock is dropped and we are back underway. Picked up along the wall by Vlasic. Moves the puck. Marlowe's got it in the offensive zone. Skates to the crease. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Anderson. Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. San Jose's game, you gotta like it. Both ends of the ice. Solid goaltending and a little bit of offense as they lead it 1-0. Now's your chance to play clean. Join us in our Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. 100% Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? San Jose's been just about perfect so far. They've got the one goal lead. A lot of it is territorial control. They've got the majority of the shots. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Sends it quickly to Ferraro. Pass across to LeBanc. Taken by Burns. Here's a short pass to LeBanc. Sends a pass over. And there's the save. The Leafs take it across the line. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Quick feed to Burns. Kane's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. That's close, James. The goaltender is... That goes off the post and stays out. Shot denies him. He got all of it. Anderson's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. LeBanc's been shaking his head since the shot hit the goalpost and deflected away. San Jose's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Takes the feed. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. No, oh, he's trying to dangle there, but he loses the puck. Now he's got to chase it back. Great balance as he scoops it back up. From point blank range, another stop by the goaltender. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Here's an odd man rush. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Hurdle. From the neutral zone now. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Moves inside. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Kerfoot. Takes the shot. Denies him on the slobber. Dubnik's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. Anderson's a little bit fortunate there. He makes a terrific stop, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead. Can't find his man. The Leafs have it against the wall. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Couldn't connect on that pass. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Quick pass to Kerfoot. Just wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Levels him against the wall. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. On the backhand, stopped by the goaltender. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Drives it to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Boyd. Jabs the puck away. Burns plays it now. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Fails to find the open man. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. 
Can't connect. Icing his call, stopping the play dead. Oh, you can see the shooter. He looked straight up to the sky. He thought that was past the goalie. But the tender made enough of a save to keep the puck out of the net. San Jose's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends the pass over. Made the stop on the play. Past the midway mark of the frame. San Jose's ahead, 1-0. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. And changes coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck grabbed by Marner. The Sharks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Slides it diagonally to Matthews. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. And he can't hang on after that hit. Nice zone entry on the left side. Move to the middle. And he was right there. They can't connect. Moves it to Hyman. Picked up along the boards by Matthews. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Here they are on the attack. Knocked away. Quick feed to Kane. Easily turned aside by Anderson. The centerman glide into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Leafs in transition at center. Takes a shot and that one stopped. The Leafs will go to work here in the offensive zone. That pass goes a little sideways. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Quick feed down low. Toronto's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Here's a short pass to Tavares. Puts it to the front of the net. And now it's grabbed by Meyer. Scooped up along the wall by Musson. Jostles the puck loose. From the blue line, they take control of it. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Slashing the call, and a pretty dangerous one at that. That's way too big a swing to get away with. He's going to go to the box. The Leafs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. The Sharks have been the more active squad, and they continue to lead late in the second period. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. A chance to get it out. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Down the right side and into the zone. Maintains possession. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Dubnik. Sharp reaction save. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. In the final moments of this period, 1-0 the score. San Jose's won the draw. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Toronto's across the blue line. Quick shot. Fantastic save. Dubnik's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Yes, 
And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. And the puck clears the zone. Taken by Spezza. Nice pass. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. San Jose's got the puck shorthanded. They clear the zone. Toronto's still down a goal as they fail to come up with a goal in the power play. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. They fight for it along the boards. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Spezza. Toronto's moving it up the ice. Great poise here as he gets it back. Swing and a miss. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Burns picking up steam. Here's a chance. The Sharks carry it along the wall. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Unloads one. Oh, slick work with the glove by Dubnik. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. The Sharks have played sound defensive hockey to this point. They lead it 1-0 after 40 minutes. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Drop the puck here in period number three. Couture's one possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. San Jose's got possession here in their own end. And he moves it up to LeBanc. Gains the zone from the right side. Receives the pass. Came up with the save on that play. Anderson's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Oh, well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one. But the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. San Jose's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Couture's won the draw here in the offensive zone. From the slot, comes up with the block. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Matthews. Passes up ahead from the left wing. And that one's turned away. The setters will glide into the dot. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Pokes the puck away. Moves it around along the half wall. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this. And we're back to even Steven. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's all tied up. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Long reach breaks up the momentum. He was locked in there. Slides the puck across to Tavares. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the feed. Denied by the goaltender. Again, the denial by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Nice poke check. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Shimmick. Denies the chance by blocking it. San Jose's on the attack. 
McKay has got it in the defensive end. Toronto's in now. Nylander's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. You gotta move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're gonna get called. Toronto's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry. They get over the boards in a hurry. Moves it to Riley. Denies him with the save. The Sharks get a hold of the puck under man. And a successful clearing attempt. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Toronto's on the attack. Strong defensive effort. And he slides it quickly to Matthews. Fires it, denied by the defender. Nice block. And he slides it quickly to Riley. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Fires it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got it behind the net. Quick pass across to Riley. Dished on over to Matthews. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Quick feed to Matthews. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, what a chance. And the goalie catches a break on that. That looked like it beat him, but it's just outside of the cage. And now he tries to get it across to Barner. And as he jumps out of the box, he can thank his penalty killers as they bail him out to keep this one tied. Dubnik's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Leafs win the faceoff. Stopped by the goaltender. Dubnik's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Tavares wins it in the offensive zone. And he comes up with the save. Dubnik's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moved in front! And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Toronto's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Brody's moving the puck through his own zone. Slides it up front. They've got numbers. Not able to connect. Puck scooped up by Burns. Here's a short pass to LeBanc. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Moves it quickly over to LeBanc. Handles the puck. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Grabbed along the boards by Burns. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck over. On the attack along the boards. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Stays with it. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick pass to Marlowe. Nice zone entry from the right side. Puck picked up by Spezza. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Patan. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Sharks take it along the wing. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. Sin Ben Bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Another scoring opportunity looms here. 
The best power plays are really varied, James. You don't just shoot it low, you don't shoot it high, you move it around. They got a big shot at the point. I think they got to get there once in a while. Puck move back to the neutral zone. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Across the line. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Too much congestion in front. And they manage to clear it. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Leafs have it now. San Jose's got control of the puck. Quick feed to Marlowe. To the low slot. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Marner's won the faceoff. The Sharks fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guy back on their heel. Oh, everybody's staring behind the net at the puck carrier. Hey, guys, turn around. The guy that's going to shoot it is standing right in front of the net, and it's in the cage. Coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Here's a short pass to Nylander. Slides the puck ahead to Bogosian. Handles the pass from the right wing. Moves it quickly over to Bogosian. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Couldn't find the intended target. Stop that one. Puck grabbed by Donato. Drives to the sweet spot. And he denied that opportunity. Now it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Dupnik's taking a look up at the big board on the replay. You'll see his stick save was excellent. That was a good scoring chance. A big face off here inside the offensive end. San Jose's won the draw. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save by Anderson. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. Matthews setting up against the wall. Answered the call on that play. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Pretty easy call to make hooking right here. Well, he gets a stick around his waist, then he stops skating. It's almost like he's advertising for the penalty. The Leafs once again send out their power play unit. You never really know when the chance to tie a game will come. But now you've got a great opportunity on the power play. Fires it! Oh, gets a glove on it to make the stop! Time of the penalty, 18 minutes, 20 seconds. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Trying to get it out. And that's a big clear on that play. Now, coaches are always telling us about details. There's one of them. Get the puck out late in a game. Couldn't complete the play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. He probably wouldn't make that play about 10 minutes ago, but now with a lead in the dying moments of the game, that's a safe, smart play. San Jose's penalty killers get a hold of it. Toronto's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Quick pass to Riley. Great poke check on the reach. Misses! The Leafs have it from their own end. Slides it up to Patan. 
Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Matthews. Looks to make a play over to Spezza. And here's a shot. Taking care of business once again. And they're off to the Stanley Cup Finals. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. The Leafs have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And with that clear, they should hang on for the one-goal victory. There's the horn, and this brings this one to an end. They're going on. They're conference champions, but really more importantly, they're going to the Stanley Cup. Well, nobody dreams of being the conference champion. You dream of being a Stanley Cup champion, but you can't be that until you get past this step. Tremendous achievement for them. An opportunity for a tip of the cap, if you will, for both sides here, right? Yeah, not easy to get through, though, James, because you look at somebody that's just beaten you in a hard-fought series, and you have to say, good game, even if you don't mean it. Well, now do they touch the Clarence Campbell Bowl after winning it? Well, they should, because I don't think it matters at all. What happens today is what's going to happen against that final series where they have to win four more times. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.